Well, sometimes talking to your doctor can get kind of weird and awkward, but it depends on the kinds of problems you're having. But we get it. Sometimes it's just kind of that uncomfortable topic. Mm -hmm. That's why every Wednesday we do have a doctor in with a different specialty to talk about some of these topics. And today we can help you get results and get some information. Morning anchor Kirsten O'Connor is here now to ask a doctor on one of those awkward but so important topics, male fertility. When it comes to having children, we have all heard the term biological clock in regards to women. But recent studies are showing that a man's age can have a huge impact on how long it takes to get pregnant, some complications, and the baby's health once it's born. So Dr. Mark Trollis, an OBGYN and re re <laughs> reproductive, that's what we're talking that's, about. That's a tough word. Uh, endocrinologist from Fertility Care in Winter Park is here with us today. The doctor's in the house. And we are talking to you about male fertility because it has been in the news, but it's something that uh, really has been around for a long time. People talking about the risks and what happens to mothers and babies. Uh, so let's talk about first what it means. So why should men be concerned with their fertility? Oh, well, Kristen, well, thanks for inviting me. It's What's fair is fair. Women have a biologic clock we've known for a long time. Now we're hearing that men do too. Let me back up for just a second. When we see a couple coming to see us, 40% of the time it's a male factor. 40% is female, so it's really half the time it's one or the other of the partner. But the issue of male factor is real. And what we're seeing now is that men are waiting a little bit longer too to have babies, like women are doing that. Do you know over the last 40 years, the fertility in men above 40 has doubled. Wow. More men in this age group are having children than ever before. But we're seeing some complications as a result of that in the offspring. And is that because people are waiting longer to have kids or, I mean, in the patients that you see? You know, we don't know. I think that's pretty much the trend all over the place, right? I mean, women are waiting a little bit longer because of careers or personal reasons or not finding a partner. And I think men are either doing that or having another partner and then meet later in life. Okay, so what about testing? Can men come in and get a fertility test? Yes, uh, a sperm analysis is really not a fantastic test, but it's the best test that we have right now. So if the sperm analysis is normal, we can give them a pretty good thumbs up that they can uh, be assured that there isn't a blatant male factor. But we can't say for absolute certainty. But let me talk a little bit more about the men as they get older. For years, we thought that men can procreate indefinitely. Once they go through puberty, they're going to produce sperm, and they're going to be able to procreate. And we see the, in the headlines, Mick Jagger, I think, what was he, uh, 73 or something like that, uh, and had a child. The oldest man is in his 90s, in the 1800s, to be able to have a child. But fertility declines. In men above 40 to 45, they take up to five times longer to, pro to impregnate a woman as when they were less than 25. And here's some other important information. Miscarriages are higher in the mm. offspring. They're, they're having higher rates of preterm delivery, even some birth defects. But two more important things, twice the rate of autism in the offspring and up to four to five times the rate of schizophrenia. So we can't screen for these things, but we can tell the men that, hey, waiting too long, you're going to start having these kind of problems, even the, the mother. Uh, during the pregnancy. That's what I was going to ask. Yeah. yeah, what about mom's health? Because yeah. I know it, it affects baby, but it could also affect the mother's health. Yeah, absolutely. The woman can have high risks of preterm pre labor, diabetes, and elevated blood pressure. Now, that may be due to her age as well. But you can make an argument that men may want to freeze their sperm when they're a little bit younger. You know, it's a big trend right now across the country of egg freezing for women. And while no medical society is advocating that men do that, it's something that they may want to start thinking about. Okay, so we've talked about the risks for women. What about for men? Um, does, does the man's health uh, have any impact if they're waiting longer? Absolutely, absolutely. The best thing that men can do is to take care of themselves to prepare for pregnancy. And so what do we know? Well, the classic boxer versus brief, right? So tighter undergarments are going to keep the testes closer to the abdomen. Women's ovaries are controlled. So men, probably looser fitting undergarments, no extended bike, you know, the bike riders that are doing this, not extended, no saunas and things like that, uh, laptops. The other thing is medications. You know, there's a big trend right now that men who are feeling fatigued, they go to their primary care doctor, their testosterone level is a little bit low, they give them testosterone. The worst thing you could do for a man who's trying to conceive. Testosterone shuts down the signals of the brain to the testes, and the men end up with no sperm. Mm. So no testosterone if you're trying to conceive. Other things, 
healthy diet, high in fruits and vegetables, good vitamin C and E, antioxidants like CoQ10, proper weight, elevations in weight, obesity and morbid obesity, decreases testosterone and also decreases sperm function. Exercise, moderate, is good. Too much, not good. Uh, other things is uh, phthalates or, or these plastics that are in water bottles, environmental exposures, not good. Mm. Too much alcohol can cause problems with sperm and impotence. Cigarette smoking, bad for the man, genetic alteration to the sperm, but also affects the woman. Passive smoke can reduce her fertility as well. Definitely healthy things that men can do to optimize their fertility. Wow, lots to think about. Dr. Charles is with us, and we're going to have more questions for you. We'll continue to uh, follow up on this topic on ClickOrlando.com. We really appreciate your time today. My pleasure. Anytime. Christine. Yeah, you made it easy to talk about this. All right, we'll send it back to the ladies at the desk.